Hey everybody, happy update day. This is gonna be a video walking you through how to get Nala and Simba to your valley. The very first thing you wanna do is head into the Dreamlight Castle and on the second floor, you will see the Lion King Realm door here. It does cost 10,000 Dreamlight to open, so make sure you have that ready to go. I'm so excited about this. Okay, so as soon as you enter, you're gonna go ahead and see Nala having some trouble with the hyenas, so go ahead and talk to her. She's gonna want you to dig out the dried thorn bushes, so go ahead and explore around the realm as you're doing this. It doesn't matter, you can break these stumps and stuff but what you're looking for is this bush and sand and seeds will drop out of them as you dig them up so you should be able to find all three right around this oasis so just make sure you're picking up those seeds once you have all five you don't have to dig any holes there are actually pre-dug holes over here by this ledge it looks like this and you're just going to plant and water those seeds in those holes Nala's going to do a super badass jump back to you over the vines you just created and then we're going to talk to her again then we need to find a way into the cave so you really just need to use your royal shovel to dig these stumps out right here in front of this glowing cave. After you clear it make sure you go through it and then we're going to talk to Nala again and she's going to want us to find a way to get across the river by knocking over a log. This is the log and all you need to do to knock it over is to actually run around to the base of it and pickaxe out the rock that's holding it up. After you do that, you're going to go back up and cross that log and then go deeper into the jungle to find Simba. Go ahead and talk to Simba, get acquainted with him, and then we're going to follow him back to where we just were so him and Nala can reunite and we can watch like creeps. Talk to Simba again and Nala is hangry, so we're going to make her some slimy yet satisfying bugs. You need to fish these three golden spots right here in the river to get the slimy bugs and then the colorful bugs are in dig spots back in that oasis we originally came from. I had already dug up two colorful bugs right when I got to the oasis because when I get into a new realm or area, I like to start digging around and stuff but you're looking for the sparkling spots and they tend to be around the edge. Once you have all those bugs, you're gonna run back and return to Simba, talk to him and he's gonna be like, oh wait, actually there's more bugs. So then you need to go back into the deeper jungle and shovel up these stumps and then catch these crazy fast running bugs. It's giving scary squirrels. They turn around a lot, so it can be easier to just wait for them to turn around and then just grab them. I also found that putting my shovel away made it a little bit easier but they don't really seem to despawn and you can probably show up another stump if you somehow don't get them all, but I'm pretty sure you just wait until you get all six from that first stump. Once you've cut all those bugs and we have everything, we need to cook up three bug platters, but don't head back to your valley because you can actually use these little volcano Lion King thingies as a stove. In the top left, go ahead and click on the recipe card and the bug platter will be right up there at the top. And so you're just going to go ahead and auto fill. It'll, I mean, I guess you could probably maybe drag them in one by one, but I would just do it this way. Auto fill, go ahead and make three of those. Then we're going to give our hungry girl, relatable by the way, just ordered my McDonald's, her bug platters. Sorry, I don't have McDonald's for you, girl. She kind of likes it though, but we still have a hyena issue. So now we need to go back to our valley, just use this little exit portal and talk to Scrooge McDuck, who is always in his shop because he's about that money. He's gonna give us a sound system, but of course we need to make some repairs. Guys, when you go do this, you're gonna get so distracted by all the new crafting recipes, but I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna focus on this guide because I have so much to do today. 10 softwood, five hardwood, and two iron ingots will repair the sound system for you. Back to the Lion King realm. A lot of you don't know this tip, but you actually, you can't do it from inside, obviously, but you can just open up your map, click fast travel, whatever you have that bound to, Go to realms and now click on Lion King realm. Run back through the cave, find Nala and Simba, talk to Nala, and then just go through the dialogue and she'll be like, okay, I'll give it a try. And guess what? It works. Finishing up this dialogue will make her interested in coming back to the valley. Yay! So now we just need to head back through that exit and place Pride Rock in our valley. I'm gonna go straight to the Sunlit Plateau. This is problematic because Scar is kind of right there. Maybe, but also where could this possibly look better? Comment down below where you're putting your pride rock. I don't know. This will cost you 15,000 gold. I've noticed these are getting more and more expensive. I'm assuming so that is when there's new players, it takes them longer to progress through the game. If you end up stuck on this screen after you do that, just click a button, escaped work for me. And now Nala is in our beautiful valley. But Simba isn't here yet. We have a little bit more work to do. So let's take our pictures with Nala and then talk to her again. Like why did she immediately run away like that? But at least marking off that 24 to 20 24 friends was so satisfying. So we need to head back to the Lion King realm to talk to Simba because he's sad. Using our little fast travel trick again, Simba is constantly in the middle of the jungle. He's not all the way at the deep end, but you do have to go through this cave every time. I don't know. I'm going to be honest. This quest was kind of pissing me off. Maybe it's because I have these videos to make. 
So I'm a little bit less patient than I would be if I was just playing. But I'm like, girl, can you just stand in the freaking oasis if I'm going to have to keep coming back here? The storyline is wholesome, though. So talk to Simba and then you're going to follow him to the deepest point of the jungle here and then talk to him again. And then we're going to have to head back to our valley through the exit, which will thankfully be right there and talk to Merlin about how we can help him. We're going to need five fiber, five softwood and two purified night shards. So the only thing that I didn't have was the night shards. So whatever you need to get, collect it, craft it. So I'm going to head to my crafting station, make those night shards, and then we can make the Rafiki's walking stick, which is under the potion and enchantment tab. Then we're going to return to the Lion King realm once again, and then bring the walking stick to Simba, who is now at the deepest point of the jungle. On this little tiny rock that Simba is kind of blocking here, you're going to interact on that and then put the walking stick inside of it. Talk to Simba, the little cutscene will start and it'll work. But now he wants to go and yassify the dried oasis. So we're going to go do that. So follow him there and then talk to him again. He's going to be like, I'm a plant dad and I'm sad here. And so then we're going to go find a bunch of plant seeds. They are all within the jungle, some of them at the center part and then one of them more towards the deeper part and then one of them only around the two waterfalls. So just run around and look for the sparkling plants, dig them up and pick up the seeds. If you can't find one, just check around the edges of the areas and circle back again. Once you have all of them, head back to the dried out oasis and talk to Simba. Now, I'm assuming he will be here for you, but I accidentally went through the exit portal. So then I had to come back to the realm. So I think it glitched him back to this in between jungle section, but he might just be here as well. I'm really not sure because I messed up. Give him the seeds and then he's going to want you to go and plant them around the oasis. Now, you could literally just dig holes and put these in a line, but I don't know. I felt like being extra, so I kind of spread them around the oasis. It just depends on your goals. As long as it's within the dried out oasis part, it will count and you don't have to water them either. When you're done, go ahead and go talk to Simba again. He wants you to use your pickaxe to free up the water source. Now, if you're not paying attention like I wasn't, this is confusing, but it's actually back in the oasis right here where you can see the water isn't able to get in. I was running up to the waterfall confused, but it's right here. So you just hit that with your pickaxe. It fixes the water and he'll be happy. Back to this jungle part to talk to him one last time and convince him to come to the valley with us. He lives with Nala in Pride Rock. So all you have to do is go back to your valley and then... Again, with this screen, if you just click a button, if you get stuck on it and then there he is, make sure to take your time getting some nice pictures and save them to your device or use that share feature. Now you have both Nala and Simba on your valley, the Lion King realm unlocked in case they add more characters in the future, which we know we're going to be getting Timon and Pumbaa one day based on some trailers that we've seen. And now you can level them both up to level two and start their individual quest lines, which I'll be posting videos on all day. So make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss out on that stuff. Like this video if you did enjoy. So I know to keep making these kinds of guides. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.